Dardania is one of the regions of antiquity which most linguists place as a central part of the area where Albanian was spoken in the phase linguists call Proto-Albanian, that is, the era before the migration period of the 6th century CE. As such, naturally, in Dardania we find a concentration of toponyms which are linked to Proto-Albanian. In this video, we'll cover some of the main Proto-Albanian toponyms in Dardania. Ancient Nysos, or Nysos was an important city in the Central Balkans. The modern form of the name, Nish, as modern linguists agree, has developed via the phonetic rules of Albanian from which it was borrowed into Slavic languages which were brought in the region after the 6th century CE. Linguist Joachim Matzinger notes that these phonetic rules are typically Albanian, and the name reflects changes which can have occurred later than the 3rd century in Proto-Albanian. In the vicinity of Nish, Dusmanis was a 6th century fort which Procopius, in the buildings, places it in the vicinity of Nish. It is the same formation as the name of the Albanian toponym and fis named Dushmani in northern Albania, as several scholars have noted. Both are derivatives of the personal name Dushi, which is widely used among Albanians as a both toponym and name. The second component, Man, is a pretty well-known component of Albanian names, and the toponyms like Maneshi and Manai. It is attested as the name of another fort in Dardania, Maniana. Balausum in the 6th century fort, Procopius places it in the vicinity of Nish. In Albania, there are many toponyms which derive from Bal, like Balash, Balush, Balibar, Balduk, Balets, and etc. Bal names and surnames are distinctive in Albanian and have been used by scholars to distinguish Albanians from non-Albanians in medieval documents. You can check our video about Proto-Albanian names about the significance of Bal in Proto-Albanian and its connection with Illyrian antiquity. It has been used to refer to animals which have a white spot on their forehead and more broadly to bright objects which can be easily spotted. Balesiana is another fort in 6th century Dardania. The word bal means frontal location, front, and metaphorically refers to leaders when used by people, hence Baleus, the name of an Illyrian king. Arsaza, a fort which Procopius places in the vicinity of Nish in the 6th century CE. In another part of Dardania, in modern-day Sanjak, Procopius locates Arsa, which via metathesis became Rashka in Slavic dialects. Arsa was a large city, certainly much larger than Arsaza. To distinguish the larger Arsa from the smaller Arsa, the smaller one is mentioned with what can be described as a distinctive Albanian suffix Eza, which is used to denote smaller units, for example, Reps, but Hamlet, Repeza, Village, Laithi, and Hamlet, Laithiza. Many such za examples exist in Albania. Pansa, a foreign Dardania mentioned by Procopius, is the Proto-Albanian word for the number 5. There are several cases in the work of Procopius where the names of two forts are actually the same one. He just mentions the one with two different names, usually one local one and one Latin or Greek. Another fort mentioned by him is Quinto. It is the Latin word for the number 5. So, Procopius gives two alternative names for the same fort, the one used by speakers of the local language, Pansa, and the one used by Latin speakers in imperial administration, Quinto. Astibos was a settlement in northern Macedonia. The modern name Shtip follows Albanian phonetic rules and it was transmitted via Proto-Albanian to Slavic languages. Originally, it was not part of Dardania, but Dardania gradually expanded and just before the Roman period started. The nearby Bilazora was mentioned as a Dardanian city. Another central settlement of southern Dardania was Skupi, which developed into modern Skupi according to a typical development of Albanian phonology. In conclusion, from northern to southern Dardania, we get elements which are linked to the phase of the Albanian language named Proto-Albanian. We hope to have given a brief overview of the linguistic landscape of this fascinating region of the West Central Balkans.